greetings from Oshawa Creek. We got Ben and Abby down here today. It's lovely. It just clouded over on us. There's no rain in the forecast. Hopefully it's going to clear. They are going to play. They both have hammocks that they're considering hanging somewhere. I'm going to set up over here to cook us some lunch. It was kids' choice of menu today, so we had bacon with hot chocolate, and we had Kraft macaroni, milk, margarine, and a cook pot, cutlery and stuff. We gotta get the bacon cooking first, though. That's the most important thing. All right, oh, the bacon cooking. I'm going to use my Ohuhu stove for that with El Cheapo El Simple fire starters from the dollar store. They make a lot of soot, but as far as I know, they're illegal. I mean, sorry, illegal to use so for charcoal barbecue starters. I'm more allowed charcoal barbecue, so I'm just ripping them in half. Throw them in there. I don't know how many I'm going to need. We'll start with that. That's about half of them. Still have six more cubes left. All right. And in this little kit, I always keep a Beck lighter. It makes it super easy to light. Just boom. There we go. Put the lid on. Ooh. Broken. It's broken. There we go. Today I am using my Deluxe steel pan from Cheesehead Chris. Thank you, Chris. I love this pan. All right, stick it on there. Put the lighter back in the bag so I don't lose it. I'm going to use my farmer to open the bacon and I'll just put it right on there. I'm probably going to end up cooking the whole thing because both of the kids like bacon and I do too. I wanted to cut these in half before I put them in there. I probably should have. But it's fine. We'll just make a mess of bacon in this pan. Special shout out to Mark and Eat Carbs. I watched his Mark with Muffin video this morning. He dropped his bacon. Mark, I do that all the time. My children expect me to dump something when I cook. Especially when it's bacon. The kids are hanging up their hammock right now and they need help. And you can hear them yelling. I'm gonna go and help them. Just put the last piece of bacon in here. Alright, and I'll be right back. Let's we'll see what they're yelling about. Okay, I've got my big green hammock over here. I'm trying to pick it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, you could stop yelling, that'd be helpful. Okay. I, everybody heard you. If you unhook this, oh, I see what you did. You got this on backwards. Hang on a minute. Yep. Okay, then come and just clip it in here low down first. Yep. There we go. Okay. And then Abby, you can do yours on that side. See the difference, Ben? This tail that's hanging down here now has all those places for you to put your carabiner in. 
Okay, the other end doesn't have so many on it. Okay, yours is on properly. There you go. So you can tighten it. Yep, and you can tighten it and adjust it. Once you both try to get in there, it's going to sag a little bit. <laughs> Wait, where's the... That, this needs to go hard. Watch out, babe. <laughs> we were hoping to have three trees that could both hang up their hammocks, but we have no luck in this park. There you go. There you go. You just, Abby, you need to move this way a little bit. <laughs> they are having so much fun. I'm starving. Let's go back and check the bacon. All right, so what I wanted to do was put a little water in there. But it looks like it's doing pretty well. Really windy out here today. I definitely did not want to chance a real fire. I don't want any sparks flying around. All right, to get off the fire to stir it because I do not want a chance of dumping it, and that flame is crazy. Mm -hmm. there we go. A little bit of a stir. I want it to cook evenly. All right, I didn't get it on a video. Sorry, Mark, but it honestly just fell off. My arm of my stove over here is broken, so it just shifted over and slid off. But I only lost a little grease, so the bacon gods are with me today. Back on there. Looks like I'm gonna need some more fuel for the fire soon. Get my bacon grease. All right, bacon's coming along. I gotta get my stove ready now. Other stove, and we'll get the noodles cooking. These children fed before they get the hangries. That didn't make any noise, hopefully. It's got enough gas in it. If not, we'll use my crusader stove. Go. Get a lighter on this one working that day, so I'm going to assume it's still not working. Propane canister into my stove can so we don't lose it. All of that's going in this bag in here. This is where my pots and pans live. Bag from my boo boo stove. Stick that in there so we don't lose any bits. It's coming along nicely. Water blowing, the noodles in lunchtime soon. Right. Bacon crisping up deliciously. Mm, I don't want to knock it off by stirring it. I'm just gonna leave it. I had a lot of had a lot of stuff to bring out today, and I was feeling a little bit lazy. So let me show you what the kids are going to be eating with. So my pot lid is a bowl. And then that is part of my baking setup. So inside of the big pot, I could put this to do some baking. Let's just tea towel. So there's one bowl. And then that goes on the bottom for more baking or frying or whatever. Two bowls. There they go. I'm not having craft dinner, so I do not need a bowl. I'll show you what I'm going to make later. I'm going to drain the grease. I'm starting to get a little burntage in there. It's fine. My crispy bacon is good. I'm on a little char. Anybody that's watched my channel for any number of years might remember that Abby choked on bacon on the hike. She was, I don't know, four or five. She's never been able to eat 
on crispy bacon since. Which I think I wouldn't make so much, so I didn't have to share so much, but <laughs> there we go. That's looking really good. Still a few undone over there, but super crispy over there. Excellent. All right, we've done a changing of the pots. I've got my Crusader cup on there now, boil some water, make the kids some hot chocolate. Bacon is just resting gently. This is just coming up to a simmer, so we'll be boiling and adding noodles shortly. All right, looks like a boil to me. There we go. So I took the craft dinner out of the boxes at home. There are two boxes in here, which is probably gonna be too much, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. Really gently. There we go. I've got my Trangia pot lifter here. Thank you, Cousin David. I put this thing. Oh. I'm going to try the wooden spoon trick. I'm going to put my wooden spoon across there. Let's see if it stops it from boiling. I think it's going to boil over. Let's see. working. It's working. The wooden spoon trick might actually work. It's pretty close. All right, that water should be boiled shortly. You got your cups and your hot chocolate powder in there. Ben, you doing okay? What's the matter? Oh, no. The glossy, you okay? All right. All right, we're testing a theory. Wooden spoon on a pot full of boiling water. It has not boiled over. I'm guessing that if I took that wooden spoon off there, it totally would go Wait, over and off. turn it. No, because it'll put off the stove. We want until the, the noodles are cooked and then we can try. Are we trying like a life hack right now? Yeah, kind of. Life hack. Life hack. All right, I believe the noodles are done. Turn the stove off. All right. Now, this is the tricky part. I gotta get that water out of there without losing the noodles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the lid on. Okay, there's a little spout in this pot. I'm going to try. Wrap my towel around here because it's hot. Hold it by the hinges and we'll try to just... Oh, that's cool. And that will just start draining out. Yeah, isn't that cool? It works like a kettle sort of because it's got that spout in it. I love this little pot. I found this at a... Oh, no, we should dump that uh, in the river. Uh, we could have. We could have. That's okay. It'll be okay here. Oh. It's not like people um, are going to sit in that very spot. Yeah, I want to just throw some more dirt over it. It gets wet when it rains, right? All right, one more try here. Oh, that's people, hot. I'm going to try to hold it at the top and the bottom. People said it was going to be a bad day. I've made a bed. <laughs> people said it was going to be a bad day today, even though it's perfectly fine. It's a perfect day today, isn't it? There we go. Get the ben, last of that out of there. I'm good. Oh, starchy water. All right, now. Now you're gonna take it off and then we're gonna see if it's. Ta-da! There might be a little bit What's of the very bottom. There might be, but it looks perfect, doesn't it? Yep. All right. I'm just gonna need it to cool down a little bit. All right, so now, but before it cools down, look at my camera there. Before it cools down, cheese sauce. Alright, and margarine and some butter. Milk. Oh yeah, don't you uh, need a cheese sauce milk. to make uh, actual like KD instead of... Yeah. Oh yeah, Mom, did you bring any extra cheese? Uh, just a little bit. Alright, sauce. And then we have margarine. Whoops. Wait, what's margarine again? Margarine's like butter. It's like oh. butter, only this is plant-based. Made with oil. And you're gonna mix it all together with a, with a different spoon. I'm gonna use the same spoon. Now we're gonna use our oh my God. handy dandy milk container. Is. There's one just there's one little one little what? Um, KD in there. <laughs> one little macaroni thing in the pot yeah. lid. <laughs> all right. Let's no. see. 
yeah, face I is like, do I you do. like milk with your hot chocolate? I thought you said a uh, KD for a second. Ben, do you like milk with your hot chocolate? No. There is extra milk in there if you want to add some. I add my creamer and stuff. Oh, you have your creamer? Okay. Okay. Where's creamer? Okay. All right. Oh. This is really cheesy. It is? It is. Oh, my goodness. We do macaroni and cheese as a very special treat in our family. And I love doing homemade, but homemade is too complicated to do out here with you guys. So, craft mac and cheese. KD to the rescue. There we go. One huge pot of macaroni. It smells weird. There we go. Hi. My water is boiled. That's scary. Take a step. I'm going to put some hot chocolate. You ready? Chocolate, there you go. All right, hot. with many marshmallows, and there's extra milk if you want some, okay? Everybody happy? Yeah! Excellent. All right, here we go. Abby's having macaroni. Can I get the first uh, try of the bacon? You can have the first try of the bacon. You ready? Abby gets the macaroni. All right, and grab a piece. Sure, take the whole thing. He's eating like a caveman. Ah! Is it delicious? All right. 10 out of 10. Four and a half stars. Four and a half stars on my bacon. Yay! All right, Abby's having macaroni and bacon. So. Macaroni with the chicken strips. She's having a oh. little pot. I made bacon and so Ben doesn't want any macaroni because it's all about the bacon. All right, some nice crispy bacon in there for Abadu. No, I meant just put the pieces in. Oh, I thought you wanted me to break it up. I, I literally said it. All right. It's fine. Just put uh, like a big piece in. All right, there we go. I was going to have the first try of bacon and, mac and macaroni. That's right. There you go. Give me a cup of bacon and, and macaroni. You yes. Have the first try of just macaroni. I'm going to show you what I'm going to make. Well, I didn't expect to have so much macaroni. It says, yes. Taste test. Bacon, macaroni. I'm going to get some more macaroni. Yeah? All right. Two happy kids? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mark. We lost a piece. I'm like going to wash it off. I saved it. I washed it off with water. I sacrificed my coffee to save the bacon. Cheers. <laughs> that is good bacon. You can have more if you want, Ben. All right. So, cast iron Wednesday this month is cheese. Even though I didn't cook in cast iron today, I had a hankering. Can I add that for a second? Yeah. Um, one of the Can you actually get up for a second and then stop this on my face? Oh! I just wanted to try it. Shapers. I bought wraps and cheese to make myself a little sandwich, and it's turned into slap each other with tortillas. <laughs> the wind flew it away. Kids. All right, I am going to make myself a bacon, cheese, and macaroni wrap. I didn't cook it in cast iron, but I am inspired by Cast Iron Wednesday's Wait, theme of like, the month. Extra like cheese. A, it should be like a plate. I forgot my bacon? forgot my plates. Alright. Cheese. With my farmer. Um, would you like bacon? <laughs> I do want bacon. I'm going to take the rest of this, I think. All right, you can have, you guys can split the last piece, okay? I'm going to take all the bits. No, it's okay. Bacon I don't bits. need any more. Cheese. Go for it. And macaroni. And cheese. Macaroni. Cheese. Extra cheese. Oh, and bacon. Wrap. Just put it right yeah, in just here. stick it right in there. <laughs> there we go. 
deliciousness. I forgot the hot sauce. Don't you only need like a few drips and hot sauce for it to like... It totally depends on the hot sauce, Ben. Oh, that this is a combination of um, Texas Pete and Sriracha, which isn't super hot, but that yeah. hot sauce that your dad gave me the last time yeah. is so hot, I only need a couple drips. No, not it's even. It's by Pepper North, and I forget which Stargazer, I believe it's called, yeah. and it is so is it freaking hot and so delicious. Back home again now, this is the hot sauce I'm talking about that Ben's dad, Tom, gave me from Pepper North. Stargazer, heat index, ultra hot, sriracha style. It is delicious, but it really is super hot. You do not need very much, but oh my gosh, it's so good. I've had that since the summer, just over half. All right, time for my taste test of my macaroni and cheese and bacon goodness. Mmm, I'm gonna go for this end first because check that out. Bacon. No, imagine if that was from McDonald's. Mmm. That they would be the that would like to be the best thing they would ever sell. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa, Ben's got the bacon fever, I think. <laughs> How was the very last piece of bacon? Five star. Excellent. Hot chocolate. Good. Good? <laughs> Excellent. Uh, that's it. We're done. The kids have abandoned. They've taken off over there. They're playing on the hammock a little bit more. They went over to take it down. So now they're playing in it. And I've been left to clean up all the rest of this stuff. Get it all packed up. And we're going to go get on with the rest of our day. That was really, really delicious. I only brought, wish that I brought less macaroni and more bacon. Because really, really, macaroni's good, but it pales in comparison to bacon. <laughs> Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're eating well today. I hope you're having a great time. And I hope you get to get outside and soak up some of that gorgeous, gorgeous sunshine we're having here. <laughs>